I'm alive and I'm healthy. Just had some major orders. I went to Texas for my daughter. She was having her baby and so the two boys needed a sitter. So I was there for, oh, I don't know, a little over a week. And I, when I flew home, I had uh, three orders and one of them was for 160 uh, hand painted eyes. So that took me about six weeks. So I was frantically painting eyeballs all that time. And then uh, my son is getting married in September. So I decided I got this wild hair. I'm going to make a dress. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's been crazy. So then I decided I was going to purge my basement. I've cleaned the entire basement. Well, three fourths of it anyway. And I'll tell you about that as I go along. But today I want to do some glass etching. Thank you to Connie, one of my sponsors, for giving me uh, some jars of this stuff. It's Armor Etch. I don't know how old it is, but I really appreciate Connie for giving it to me. Um, I think this is supposed to be white, but we're going to try it. I've never done this before, and I want to do it. So I got some uh, bourbon bottles from my son-in-law while I was in Texas, and I cleaned them all off. And I've got some stencils that I picked out, and I put some adhesive on the back. So I just want to put this on so that the hummingbird is centered. Make sure that everything is adhered really well. And now I've got a dauber. This says to uh, clean it up with water. So now what I need to do is just apply this stuff liberally, I'm guessing, because it doesn't say. It just says put it on. You could use a paintbrush, but I don't want to dirty a paintbrush. I hope this is still good and it works. I've always wanted to do glass etching. I never spent the money on the product. So God bless Connie. <laughs> I was so excited when she gave this to me. Oh, she gave me a whole ton of stuff, guys. She is such a, well, she's a beautiful spirit, be it whether she gives me stuff or not. She is a huge sponsor. I really appreciate everything that she gives me. Now I just have to find time to use it all. But I've got tons of projects in the in my mind. <laughs> and on a list I've created. I rearranged my craft table so that I could walk all the way around it. And I rearranged my sewing room area and my eye painting station. I'll take you on a tour when I get my sewing cabinet back in here. My husband, he is the best. I just love him to death. I asked him if I could have a new top to my cabinet because the sewing machine that I used to have fit in there. There's that. Now let's do a dragonfly. And can you see the sticky? This is the one I want to put on here. I gotta hold this up. I'm gonna make sure I get it on the, the entire bottle. This one might be hard because the bottle is concaved, but we'll do our best. So anyway, my mother-in-law gave me a baby lock, Unity. It's a huge machine and it doesn't fit the hole that it was in the, de the cabinet that I had. I was supposed to get the cabinet that the Unity came with, but something bad happened. I didn't get that table. I was just living with it, sitting on top of the cabinet that I had, and the cabinet was fine, and it has a motor in it and everything so that you can uh, lift the, the machine or, or lower it to put it away. It just needed a bigger hole for the sewing machine. So I asked my husband if we could get some plywood and redo it, so that's what he's doing. It's out in the garage. I'm kind of excited. I'm going to set that right here. And now we have this other bourbon bottle. I went on Amazon and I found these spouts for like wine and stuff. Well, I'm not going to use these for wine. Let me get the package here. These were clear. Free flow pour were clear. And there's a dozen of them. And I thought, how cute would these be if you did a, some glass etching, did some wire work, and put your dish soap in here. And then you could sit that right on your counter or up on your windowsill above your sink. Well, I have a windowsill above, I think. So I'm going to put this butterfly right there. Now it says this is supposed to go for five minutes, but I don't know how to check it to see if it's working. So if any of you guys have done glass etching, let me know, would you? Because I want to know how this works. I have never watched any videos on it. I suppose I should. I know that you're not supposed to get it on your skin, so I should be wearing gloves. I'm a rebel. And I don't know if I can take the stencil off right away. But anyways, what was I talking about? I was talking about my sewing machine cabinet. Oh, when he gets that done, and then we have to break it down in pieces because it will be too big. It won't fit down the stairs. Leave me comments, guys. Talk to me. Tell me what you guys do. If you're a sewer, how do you store your thread? And if you've done armor etching, were you successful? How were you successful? I'm excited. It says wait five minutes only. 
So I'm going to wait five minutes and then we have to go wash it off with water and I will come back. Okay, I'm back. All washed and clean. Well, the bottle still needs to be washed inside and out. Can you see the dragonfly? It's pretty. It's not perfect, I, but it's okay. Here's the hummingbird. That's pretty. And here's the butterfly with the little side butterfly. That one was probably the worst one. It's almost solid. Let's decorate this bottle here. I got about 18 inches of 16 gauge wire and I got about 6 inches or 7 inches of 20 gauge wire. I've got some side cutters and some round nose pliers and flat nose pliers. I'm going to cut this in flush. These are not meant for 16 gauge so I'm going to have to make a big loop up here. Putting the wire flush against put the, the wire flush against so that when I rub my finger against it, you couldn't feel it. So now I've got a loop right here. And 16 gauge is not the easiest to work with. We're going to do the best we can. So we're just going to wrap this around here a few times. Now we're going to pull this down about like this. And then let's cut it off right there. Okay, now we got to make another loop and I'm going to think I'm going to make it go this other way. I'm just going to do it the best way for me right now. And then we'll just twist it. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so now that's going the wrong direction, right? Unless you want to see the, the loop. If you don't want to see the loop, then leave it just the way it is. Cut that flush. And now we're going to make a little tiny circle. Actually, I'm going to do a double circle on this one. Okay, so now this will slide right down. This is a Labradorite and an AB crystal, a Swarovski crystal. It's just a peach color, I guess. Gonna give that a twist. We're gonna give it kind of a big loop here. And now we're gonna feed that through. Okay, bend that up. Let's see. I want to get a grip on it so I can wrap that wire. I think that's good enough. So now we'll get in there and we'll give that a really short trim. Give it a pin. Oh, shoot. Did you see that? I chipped my labradorite. We're going to turn that sideways. Isn't that cute? That would be so pretty thing sitting in my kitchen window, don't you think? Alright, let's go put some soap in this and uh, take it outside and we'll show you the finished product. Okay, so here it is. We're going to pretend that it's sitting in my windowsill. <laughs> and I can't do it outside because my husband has the radio blaring. Look at, isn't that gorgeous? It's so cute! So now all I have to do is just clean a spot on my windowsill in the kitchen. <laughs> Wash the window. Look at that. Not bad. I think the next time I do this, I will use a vinyl and I'll use my Cameo 
to cut out the, the design. But it only took five minutes. All done. I love it. Tell me what you guys think. All right. Thank you so much for staying with me and watching this video. And like, subscribe, share. Until next time. Love you. Bye-bye.